Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to review episode 4 of The Acolyte, which has been titled Day. Now in this episode, May is seen arriving on Kofa with Kamir, where Kamir is also seen telling her how Osha being alive changes nothing. On the other hand, the council decides to send a team, but Seoul wants to be on the mission, as at that time, he thought that May died, but this time he knows she can be saved and he wants to save her, as he has Osha as a big weapon. Where she is seen trying to leave and is also seen saying her goodbyes to Jackie, but then Master Soul takes her with him. On Kufa, she is also seen telling Yod about stopping May for good this time, as the first time she didn't stop her, May messed it up. At least she thinks that May messed it up. Here we also see Basil, and yes, Osha can sense creatures in the forest. May is then seen tying Kamir and telling him how she won't kill Kalnaka, but instead she will surrender, so she will not have to face her master, that evil master, and yes, Osha being alive changes everything for her. But then she gets to Kalnaka at first and finds him dead, so that evil Sith is already here and she is really scared of him. The Jedi's arrive and at first they are seen telling Mei to come out, but then that evil Sith emerges behind Osha. The thing is really powerful as it throws out all the Jedi's off their feet and that's it. Clearly Mei is scared so much of this thing that she considers killing Jedi's easier and she is not pure evil. My guesses are that it's Mother Coral, as it didn't hurt Osha, instead it threw her away. So guys, stay tuned for further updates and if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Also let me know in the comments what you think about this. Thank you.